what I, I might add. So. We're here in everyone's favorite stage, G Corp Help at night time. Get your earphones on full blast. We're about to see some killer music. Some killer dubstep. Can I get some kappa in the chat for my remark? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've got Lohan Shaheen versus Tronova on Dragonov. Both face stun uh, patiently, comes in with the jab, wants to start his offense, but doesn't want to overcommit. Down three right now, trying to get his pressure in there. Ah. Back dashes, but no launch punish. Nice punish there on the down two with the while standing three three. Frame perfect, but you know, you always got to be ready. Comes in with the 4 1, expecting a while running two maybe, trying to play keep out. The thing with the, uh, Dragon Up is while running two comes out really quickly and the animation is deceptive. But if you're ahead, if you're sharp, you can get a down four two or a can hit four to knock him out of it. You know, just with good timing. Four Nova, can he get a wall break? Can he get a screw? And he does. Sliding off axis so it doesn't convert into a full combo. Still has rage now. Not how with his back to the wall. Goes for the rage drive, plus frame. Oh. And the back swing blow. Wall screws him over, plus frames, and the low high signature kimchi rager. The kimchi rager? You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. The law is because kimchi is salty, and <laughs> so you do a rage out when you're salty, and thus <laughs> like kimchi, kimchi rage, out. rage out. Okay, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Been hearing it for years, and I never get over it. <laughs> the salty kimchi rage out. And the counter hit down Thanks. two tries to size up the down forward one, doesn't get it. Does track to that direction. Slide mix up coming out, gets the get up four on him. Playing at a range where he you know he might come in with the wild running too. Nice punish there on the off kick. Went for the full one on minus nice three. Nice punish. The, the fuzzy that guard. That was punish, absolutely yeah. beautiful. He could have got a wild stage too, but he wanted the fuzzy guard. That was perfect done. Oh my, very good with these fuzzy guards. He knows that fuzzy guard forward, uh, pulse forward for two one or two just frame one series. A lab monster, if you will. And it's now with insane, a one yeah. one round uh, tie between the players, both players, you know. Playing really well right now, but neither player with too much momentum. Low high trying to make these big reads on the while running twos, and we finally see one there. Gets the up Gets the wall ball. as well. Oh, he does it. Combo. You know, maybe unfamiliar with the side wall, maybe just uncomfortable with committing to too much. Doesn't want to get launched. Us frames with the while running two. Another down two. You know, one of the scariest moves in the game, you know, a lot of the time when you're expecting it, it's still scary because he has other tools to keep you from ducking. Nice break on the 1 plus 2 throw there. Back 3. Well, he's got a step and a nice sidestep fuzzy guard. Nice guy. punishable. He wanted running too. He there, wanted 100%. running too. Yeah. Round four. It's one of the annoying uh, misinputs you get with Dragon Ball. You know, there are a few, but that's one of them and that's quite annoying. And we're in the final round of the uh, helipad night time, so, you know, the music comes out. Nice duck there on the jab series. Uh. He doesn't want to commit to too much. Like you can see Cornova now in the same seat that Lohai was in the first round. Doesn't want to commit to too much. Just, you know, doing the first hit of the strings. Just trying to see what he can get. If Lohai will pull for a count hit. Because Lohai does it back to the wall now. Any big hit can, you know, bring Cornova back to the game. And Lohai just playing. So aggressive all these right pokes now. adding up, look at that. He He's wants like... to stop the rage drive. He doesn't want to block a rage drive. He just tried to stop it from coming out. And you know, Cornova recognizes this. Would he take the chance? Uh, Whiffs the up forward four and a nice punish there with the down no, forward one. You can tell that low high played at a close range. He doesn't want to block any more down yeah. forward ones. He doesn't want to deal with down two on here. Uh, he doesn't want to deal with any rage drive. He just used good timing, good judgment. You know, stuffs every kind of offensive rhythm yeah. that Cornova wanted to start up there. And, and that is very smart against Dragonov because you know, his, his only um, plus range, well, back one plus two, yeah. and running two, and, and you know, if you give him more space, then he's only got back one plus two, which is not a great move to just tuck out <laughs> randomly. You have, yeah, you have to remember that running two and down two, they're not very fast. Like, they're 18 plus frames. Mm -hmm. So, and they're like the tools Dragonov wants to use. If you're playing with good timing, staying at plus frames with your pokes when they're on here, or like choosing to attack at the right time, even on block. You can keep dragging off from using the moves he wants to do. He has to resort to, uh, to moves that he doesn't want to do. But you know, like he can get his offense started with moves like quicker moves, like a 14 frame down back two or a down forward one or a down forward four. But Cornover showing that he doesn't want to use these moves. He wants to stick with the old classic with the ball running two and the down four. Oh, down two rather. Down two, yeah. Down two. Even though it is zero on hit, it's such a beast of a move, isn't because it? Because it has a mind game. You yeah. can just backdash, down forward two, you can sidestep, you can uh, do a crouch jab to beat everything the opponent does, unless they crouch jab, but then they can just up forward four to beat your crouch jab. Such a, such a diverse uh, mind game after it. Mm. There's so much that can happen. Absolutely, and we're going to the geometric lane. 
nice so cannon. Match, yeah. That combo does whiff sometimes, but it is the best combo you can get if you, just wanna, if you don't want to just want to do a fall. Yeah. Yeah, if you just want to do a fall. Nice step of the down portal. And Lohai playing the same way he did last time, just aggressively. Just jabbing. Like, look at the, 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 the short range. Oh, plugs. you have to know, Shaheen does not jab, he throat thrusts. <laughs> look at those hands. That's a great way to break your fingers as well when you're, <laughs> if you're in an actual fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Shlohai slowing things down. He does have rage. Oh, and a no. nice hit with the quarter circle forward one. Caught him coming in. Round playing two. keep out with that move. He gets the hit on it. There you go. You know, the moment Lohai started playing slower, he lost that round. It's interesting to note. Drops the combo. Nice, nice punish. Minus 13 punish as well. Um, yeah, and, and I think you are right. Um, if you're giving Dragunov space, then you know, you're, you're letting yourself open to potential running twos, you know, down twos, you know, that, that's the zone that we all know and love from Dragunov. And, and you see Konova here, he's trying to he's trying to back away. He's trying to make some space. Doesn't go for the second. He's been doing back four at its own a lot. Mm. You know, you can maybe throw out a back four two, leave out the last hit, try and see what your opponent's ducking, get that free damage. But Lohai not ducking, not falling for anything right now. But Kornova does have a one round lead and nice a nice punish. launch punish there. Can he close it out? Delays the last hit for that 60% force that damage. Blocks Ducks the toe the kick token. as well. Yeah. Round three. Very smart. Fight. You have to be ready for everything. You know, a lot of people do is when they eat toe kick, like when they get hit by it, they'll approach you. So in this case, Drag might do a running too. So you can be ready to step it or do something. But at the wall, or it's very kimchi hard. Or Yeah, or Kimchi Rager. <laughs> Perfect time for a Kimchi Rager. <laughs> and a nice dance too. We got players on the opposite side that they started on. Corner, they're not committing to too much right now. Oh, there's the nice punch and the hop kick with the jab. Very interesting. That's not something you see every day. Plus frame doesn't do a lot with it. Went for the one throw. Yeah, but one one more lane. thing with uh, oh, that's nice kind of hit there. One more thing with Lohai. You can see he's challenging the plus frames. He's making it so that he, you know I'm not, I'm not afraid. Yeah, he's, to he press wants to be, He wants to be unpredictable. You have to be. And a nice oh, duck there. Nice. Corner over three rounds straight of, uh, over Lohai. Looks like the stage change really did a lot for him. It wasn't like in the music in the nighttime stage. No, no one likes dubstep in that stage. I think the dubstep was really throwing him he, off he, there. he prefers house music, he or like the, the trance music in the background. He prefers, uh, yeah, the ch chill out tunes. Lohai looking puzzled right now. Will we see a character select? Or did they go stage select? I didn't see. Oh, uh, he went character. He went character <laughs> select. Oh, Lars, you're going to pick a Lars? Is he gonna Ooh, Ooh, I'm going to beat you in your own game. A Sir K mirror. Ah, oh, here we go. Who in a million years thought it was going to be a Dragonov mirror? Dragonov's worst matchup is Dragonov Dragon himself. Is, is it really? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because in, in, in um, Street Fighter 4, that's actually true for some characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the top Asuka players in the world, I think it was Amoeba, said um, Asuka's third worst matchup is Asuka, but she has the, the Asuka on P2 is always favored because she can step uh, after right. down back three and after down back three on hit to, an, to avoid another down back three and a down forward one. Interesting. Yeah, that, I thought that was really interesting. Asuka is Asuka's third worst match. That, that 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 is hilarious. See to me that to me I can't <laughs> comprehend something like that. I'm not that good of a player, but these guys, you know, they know. They're committed to their craft. They play their characters. They know like almost everything about it. Well, I mean, in, in Street Fighter Four, I mean, um, Abel is Abel's one of Abel's hardest yeah, matchups. I don't know. Man. He can't. He, he he gets in, but he can't get out. Like so it's kind of so like that. So. So we're in the final match, you know, Lohai lost three rounds straight, he's got to do a lot, otherwise he's got to go down to the loser's bracket. They're both wearing the, uh, the FR jackets. We're going to see a lot of wild running too, we're going to see a lot of down two. You, know, you guys know how Dragon Dragonite mirrors go. And the counter hit there, plus 13 to 14 frames. Such a, uh, you know, scary addition. Some people say it wasn't needed. Ah, uh, doesn't. You can get a full combo from up forward four with the down three four. No, down three four. Oh, down. In the open. Oh really? Yeah, four breaks oh, in this, oh, stage. In this yeah. stage you mean, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Neither player knows, but Lohai knows that stage. Oh, Lohai definitely knows that, yeah. I would say. Drops the combo though, and so many players just throwing out these up forward Oh, four. nice! No break on the one plus two throw there! Cornova playing out of his mind, takes a one round lead over Lohai, oh, and finally we, takes the lead in the set. Are we like, uh, about to see an upset here, Alchemist? This is four rounds straight right yeah, now. Yeah, at the moment. Maybe this Dragonov pick for Lohai wasn't the right thing to do. 
you know, you want to get that one plus two throw because it does floor break and it does lead to a full combo. And you know, even if it didn't floor break, it's one of the best throws in the game. You get a guaranteed down four. Even if it is scale as well, you know. Interesting to note is the down four is guaranteed on every single character in the game except Dragonov. So the Dragonov, if you get hit by Dragonov's one plus two throw, you hold back and he gets out of the guaranteed back uh, down four. That, that is very interesting. Look at Kornova go! Has Lohai now in rage, goes for the back one, that is minus 10, but you know, you gotta be weary of the second hit. Down back two, checking him with it, goes for these mids, the insta while standing one, nice punish on the low, gets plus from to the one and two, drags him all the way to the wall, no duck on the second hit. Fuzzy guard, and the 2-1. Nah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's he's dead. dead. Yeah. Oh, one round Kornova. away, five rounds straight for New Kornova Zealand. right now. Oh, New Zealand is... She's hype at the moment. I can, I can, I can hear the, the, the chants in the crowd. No punish there on the down uh, yes, here we go the wall break. Two, here comes the floor break, I mean. Back four, three. Back four. Oh. There is another combo where you do forward four, four, three, and it realigns somehow. I don't remember the full combo. Going for the up forward four. Once another wall, uh, floor break rather. Jabs him out of there. All these up forward fours. You know, that's a move you gotta... It's very, very valuable in this matchup at this stage. Finally uses those plus frames to get the rage strike. Ah, hits him out of the rush. You need eight frames to for your power armor crush to be active. That's average. Correct, yes. There are some characters who are different, like Feng. He has a really weird power crush. Oh really? Yeah. But it's on average eight frames uh, of armor is to, for your armor to start up. He's not. Um, well, one thing that Cornover does a lot is while sending four punish on the down three, where you get while sending one three. Yes, which is a down. very strong punish. Yes, four shoulder. Punish, yeah. You know, Dragonov has. Three was three was standing four frame punches. No other character has that in the game. Both players that are around at about half life right now. Who's going to go into rage first? You know it's going to be very valuable here. Do you want those punch frames? Do you want the mix up? If you have rage, your opponent expects that you want to do rage. You can come in and do a low oh, and, and gets the go. judo chop straight to the neck. Can he close it out? Goes to the end though with the three two. Gets hit for the second hit. Could have ducked it and could have taken uh, that, the that's, match. That's unlucky. And, and here we go. You know, tournament nerves. You, this is this is a match point for both both players. It's final, one one. Final round right yeah. now. Yeah. Going down to the final. Oh wow. Went from five straight rounds for Cornova and Loha working his way back in with two straight rounds right now. Nice side step on the on the while standing four. Down one. That is zero on block. You know, there's always the Force frame crash. Yes, yep. of course. Cornova losing in the neutral battle, has to do something to work his way back in, down to Punish that, oh, out. Not, not the best punish, but at least he got something there. <laughs> He's just trading, uh, uh, trading, running, two, running trading plus friends right now. Nice, could have gotten a better with punish, still takes his damage, he has to work his way ah, back that's in, it. and a nice punish there. Cornova almost had it, he played really, really well. I'm good. sure that was much better than anyone expected him to do against Loha, who's you know, been performing really well in recent tournaments. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, New, New Zealand's got to be happy.